promotion will come rapidly and quickly. Because you've been faithful, because you've been faithful when it was difficult, because you've been faithful when, when you could have easily turned away, God says, I have seen your faithfulness. I have seen what you've done in secret. And the goodness of the Lord shall visit your household, you and your daughter, and you shall reap in this season. Okay, so we're out here in Crenshaw, right in front of the, the Crenshaw Baldwin Hills uh, Plaza Ball. It's hot out here, it's like 100 degrees, but we're out here being a blessing to people, giving them water, praying for them to get healed, delivered, set free. So this is a new location, we haven't really been in this location in a while, so I'm looking forward to see God move and touch people. Demonstrate it, come on, let's go. <laughs> types of stuff any any type of physical pain you got or anything and you'll be healed like on the spot yeah i'll be praying uh but most of my prayers are directed towards others like okay i have a lot of friends that's going through hardships and yeah. so i'll be praying for them okay just pray for my friends that'll be yeah uh, definitely great. i'll definitely do that man yeah. it looked like it seemed like it was obstacle after obstacle after obstacle you will find in this season, even though it seemed like it was dark, this will be the greatest season in your life. People will come from all over to bless you. People at your job will be drawn to you. Promotion will come rapidly and quickly because you've been faithful. Because you've been faithful when it was difficult. Because you've been faithful when, when you could have easily turned away. God says, I have seen your faithfulness. I have seen what you've done in secret. And the goodness of the Lord shall visit your household, you and your daughter. And you shall reap in this season. You shall reap, for you've seen the testimonies, you've heard the stories. But the Lord of the breakthrough is saying, I'm coming to your house on this time. It shall, it shall not be someone else's testimony or someone else in church or someone else you've read about or someone else you saw online. This shall be your season and the glory of the Lord shall visit your household says the Lord it shall be a reality in your life so be encouraged right now and know that God will see you through this is not just an occasion this is not just 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 a circumstance God is saying I have seen you and the glory shall visit your household and you will look and you will say this is the work of the Lord and it is marvelous in our sight and they shall come from near and far and look and say behold and say that is the work of the Lord God has touched that woman, and you shall see it. You shall walk in it, and you shall eat it, the good of the land. But you've seen, you've seen the struggle, and God is going to open up the doors. You shall eat the good of the land. And the power God just hit Liz, the spirit of prophecy just came on me, and, and, and God touched her. <laughs> but here's the thing, here's the thing, like, God touched her and I felt the presence. And right afterward, a guy was walking. Here's the guy right here, you can see him. Walking with a cane. And the spirit of the Lord would have, would have healed him and touched him. But he just kept walking. In the gospels, when Jesus appeared to the two men on the road to Emmaus, the Bible says they constrained him. But this is my point. If they didn't constrain him, it says that he would have just kept walking. Jesus would have just kept walking. 
So here it is. The Spirit of the Lord just touched Liz, and he's here, and this guy just walks right by. He would have touched him too, but he just kept walking. Don't let the Spirit of the Lord just walk by you. Constrain him. Ooh. Glory to God. Isn't God good? Amazing. <laughs> hey man, let's pray for this guy coming up. <laughs> It's from our church. We're being a blessing to people Amen. today. That is yeah. a blessing. Yeah, you need prayer for anything today? We're we're praying for people. We see people get healed of all types of pains oh, yeah, and I'll everything. Stay praying. Yeah, you need I'm you. A prayer soldier. Always, all right. You're always, always. Yeah. All the time. All right. Don't you think so? Yeah. Anything troubling you physically? You know. No. Yeah. All right. God bless you, sir. God bless you. He's good, isn't he? I woke up, man. He woke up. He woke oh, you up today. I'm, I, don't, I ain't got no complaints. Amen. You better <laughs> you better praise him. A lot of yeah. But you did, and he, you in the glory. Good. God bless you, man. All right. <laughs> yeah. He said, I woke up. <laughs> Ooh, man. It's mm. true. Okay, so we just got back from Okay, so we just got back from ministering here in Crenshaw. It was a little slow because when you say healing, people don't know what you mean. And I always think that's interesting because when you say healing, they think you you talk about medicine. I just saw I just um like the ad, the billboard, auto accident pain, they think it's some type of medical settlement or something like that. So when you talk about the supernatural healing power of God in many neighborhoods that have heard about religion and heard about Jesus and heard about the traditions of men, they don't put two and two together. We've seen so many people today that had canes and had walkers that had pain. They needed to be healed. But when I talk about Jesus, they're like, they, they don't put two and two together. Religion has done such a terrible job with people that they don't even equate Jesus with the healing power of God. So we got a lot of work to do in this area, but I'm not leaving. I'm going to be here. So we're going to see God move mightily because this is where it's needed. Man, it's hot out here. So when I was in South Carolina, about an hour before I was gonna speak, I'm in my hotel room, and I'm looking at all the equipment that I have, my, my HD DSLR camera, my all this stuff, and I was like, who's gonna work the camera? <laughs> and it's tough because no one can work the camera because no one ha knows how to work that stuff. So I went online, and I found this camera called the Mevo. And this Mevo camera basically records by itself, so no one has to work the camera. So now I'm going to my facility downtown where I receive mail. I'm gonna go pick it up. So I'm really excited to see how this thing is gonna work. Because I, now I can just place this camera wherever I go and it's gonna automatically record. And I have to worry about if the footage was, was, was lost, if anyone was working the camera. So that's what I'm excited about now. So here's the UPS store. This is where I pick up my mail and ministry packages. I'm back home now, I have the package, and um, I'm really excited to check this thing out because it's been, when I tell you it's been a hassle, a hassle in terms of working the camera and getting somebody to do it. So now this is gonna do it all automatically. 